my name is Katie. Today is May 11th, and here's some of our top stories with Olivia. Representative Liz Cheney could lose her leadership role over criticism of Trump. Cheney believes the election wasn't rigged and is facing criticism from her Republican colleagues. Cheney recently tweeted this week saying, the 2020 presidential election was not stolen. Anyone who claims it was is spreading the big lie, turning their back on the rule of law and poisoning our democratic system. Trump and his Republican representative, Steve Scalise, want to replace Cheney with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. In the case that Cheney loses her position, it would further signal Trump's party in keeping him in front of the GOP as he tries to flip Democratic control of Congress against President Biden. Many are wondering if the 2022 midterm elections will give Trump electoral wins. As of now, Democrats have the upper hand in the House and Senate, and Republicans are fighting to gain control. Steve Scalise's spokeswoman, Lauren Fine, said no formal discussion on Cheney's future has been announced. Thousands of Afghans are desperately seeking to leave their homeland as the Biden administration withdraws the last American troops in the coming months. These Afghans fear that once U.S. forces are gone, the Taliban will take power and target them as traitors. Congress created a special visa program in 2006 for Afghans and Iraqis who worked alongside American troops because of such dangers, but the program is backlogged and limited. It takes, on average, nearly three years for applications to be processed. At the moment, there are about 18,000 Afghans waiting for appro approval and fewer than 11,000 slots. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Who's ready to live stream Spartan Stage 2021 musical, Breaking Up is Hard to Do? Stream live are on May 12th and 13th at 7 p.m. and May 15th at 2 p.m. Your streaming passes are $4 on esmchs.bookdocs.com. Theater happens here. In our continued discussion about the importance of mental health, especially during these difficult times, Lauren Payne has a few tips on how we can take care of ourselves. According to Medline Plus, mental health and wellness is defined as our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. Mental health and well-being are just as important as your physical well-being, and there are many ways that you can take care of and maintain your mental health and wellness. These include exercise, talking to friends and family, doing something you enjoy, getting outside, and taking breaks from stressful activities. At times, we need to take a step back and relax. Learning how to relax can take some practice. Many of you have already discovered one or two of the many apps that now exist to help people. Many of these apps guide us by helping us practice mindfulness, a mental health strategy that helps us relax by readjusting our thoughts, settling our breathing, and reducing stress and anxiety. It involves shifting our focus and attention away from the stress and worry of things in the past or the future and focus on the present moment in a non-blaming, curious, and calm way. Mr. White, one of our school counselors here at the high school, will join ESM TV this week to share with us some information on some apps that help with keeping us mentally healthy. We are interested in what students are already doing to take care of their mental wellness. Today at lunch, you will have the opportunity to tell us by completing a Google form that will be emailed to all students from Mr. Hart. We will be reporting back to you with the results of this survey at the end of the week. Today will be windy and cold with some scattered showers popping up, mainly developing in the afternoon and even maybe mixing with a little bit of snow, especially in the higher terrains. The highs are going to be in the low to mid 50s. Tonight's going to be cloudy with, again, some passing rain showers and possibly a little snow mixing in with lows in the mid to upper 30s. Good news is, though, that the rest of the week looks to have some warmer temps. Wednesday is still going to be breezy but warmer with some sunshine and just a slight chance of a pop-up shower or two mainly south and east of Syracuse, and highs near 60. Thursday looks like some beautiful weather with a lot of sunshine, less wind, and highs near 65. Friday will have some more clouds with a slight chance of showers, but those highs are staying around those mid-60s still. And going into this weekend, Saturday and Sunday both look pretty similar with intervals of sun, a slight chance of some showers, but still highs in the mid to upper 60s. Monday has a chance of showers and highs in the upper 60s in an alley with your weather.
Hey, Katie, how are you doing today? Good. Awesome. So I wanted to uh, come on uh, today to talk also about the idea of, of generosity. Um, generosity is another way that we can improve our, our mental health. Actually, if we look on the sources of strength wheel, generosity is really kind of a, a key factor. Um, it's you know, proven that uh, by helping others and, and by giving, uh, we actually, in, in essence, really kind of make ourselves feel better in, in the process. And um, in the past several weeks, the Junior Honor Society has been hosting a food drive, um, both online and also in our, our front lobby by allowing people to kind of donate food. And, you know, during this pandemic, um, a lot of families out there have really kind of struggled. And, you know, I want to say thank you to everyone who's donated thus far. Um, and to let everybody know that this Friday is the last day to donate. So, um, you know, if you're feeling the urge to do something good for somebody else, um, please feel free to kind of bring in some of your canned foods. But also all throughout the building, there's uh, posters with a little uh, QR code. You could scan that and that allows us a way to kind of donate digitally, which really actually helps out the food, food pantry even more. So... Um, I, don't, I know, I don't know if you, you've been a part of it as well, haven't you? Yeah, actually, um, there was a lot of new Spartan Junior Honor Society um, emails sent out to kids, and there's many, many more people joining, and I think it's a really good idea to donate to yeah. help the other people. Yeah. And another good way, actually, to, to help out or help yourselves is to get out and do something physical whenever you can. And uh, so let's see what our school sports are uh, doing. The girls track team stayed undefeated with a huge 125 to 13 blowout against Fowler. Kayla Maloof had a perfect meet getting first at all of her events. Brianna Bushko also had a perfect meet, placing first in all her events. The boys track team also beat Fowler last night, improving <laughs> to 4-0. Leading the way for the boys was Rocky L and Bennett Ferrari with four wins apiece. Rocky nearly broke the school triple jump, triple jump record with a jump of 44, six and a half. Other winners were Kevin Hasty in the shot and disc, Aiden Hurt in the 200, and me in the 32. Uh, the track teams play Oswego on Friday. The girls softball team beat Fulton 21-0 in their third consecutive no-hitter. They've scored a total of 51 points and have zero runs scored against them. Like, at all, ever. Um, Olivia Goff pitched her first no-hitter in her very first game. The girls golf team won 239-237. Jessica Griffith led the team with 53. And upcoming games, the boys' tennis team has a match against Oswego. Wrestling team has a match against Chittenango. And on Wednesday, the softball team plays at JD, the boys' lacrosse team plays at Oswego, and the girls' lacrosse team plays at home also against Oswego. And I'm John, with your sports. So please take a moment today or this week to take care of yourself. And if you can, please donate to a family in aid. Thank you from everyone here in the Spartan News, and have a good day. Your face was in alley.